Uh, welcome uh, to the online lecture series in data science. Uh, we are uh, dealing with uh, various aspects of uh, data science and uh, technology. Uh, in previous lectures, we have already completed the Rasugulla Sandesh. And uh, in this lecture, uh, we are going to see in detail about the Kalakam. What do you mean by the Kalakam? Uh, and uh, how Kalakam is prepared? Okay. And uh, which type of milk is generally prepared for the preparation of the Kalakam? So, uh, let's see about the Kalakam. Uh, we have already seen about the preparation of uh, Rasagulla. So, Sandesh. And uh, in this lecture, we are going to say in detail about the Kalakan. Uh, Kalakan is also Channa based product. Uh, but the uh, uh, Kalakan is prepared by using Khova as well as by using the Kalakan, uh, by using Channa. So, in this lecture, uh, we are going to see in detail about the preparation of Kalakan, how the Kalakan is prepared by using the Dhanadar Khawa and how the Kalakan is prepared by using uh, the Channa or by uh, coagulating the milk. Basically, uh, Kalakan is prepared by uh, using the Dhanadar variety of the Khawa. In previous lecture, we have already seen uh, what do you mean by Ganedar variety of the Khova. The Khova which contains the uh, large size, uh, large size uh, particles that is called as the Ganedar variety of the Khova. And it shows uh, the structure like grains. Therefore, it is called as the Danegar variety of Khova. And uh, Kalakan is uh, characterized by large size hard grains with uh, less porous body. Uh, when we compare the Burfi with the Kalakan, in that case, we will uh, find that the chemical quality of the Kalakan and the chemical quality of Burfi is similar. But when uh, we see the sensory and geological properties of both the spread, that is the Kalakan and Barfi, in that case, we will find that there, uh, there, are, uh, there is the large difference in their sensory and geological properties. Kalakan uh, is with the distinct cooked flavor and the brown color and kalakan is also uh, the body of the kalakan is the greasier with the grainy texture whereas the burfi's uh, body is not so much greasier as compared to the kalakan and this is the difference between the burfi and the kalakan uh, for the preparation of kalakan Generally, buffalo milk is preferred as it produces uh, the uh, large size grain. Therefore, buffalo milk is generally preferred for the preparation of kalaka. Whereas, if we want to prepare the kalaka by using the khuva, in that case, we have to use the khuva which is the Danida variety of khuva. Only that kind of the khuba is used for the preparation of the kalakan. It means uh, this is about the kalakan. I think uh, you you might have uh, got the idea about the kalakan. What do you mean by the kalakan? Kalakan is a similar uh, product as like the barfi, but uh, uh, the chemical quality of the both products are similar. 
whereas the sensorial and neurological property of the both products are quite different. In a way, that is the uh, Kalakan is having the cooked flavor, whereas uh, Kalakan has, is having the cooked flavor and the brown color, and the body of Kalakan is more greasier uh, with creamy texture than the Barfi. So uh, this is the sensory. Uh, this is the difference in between the sensory and neurological properties of the uh, both the sweet that is the Kalakan and the Barfi. Kalakan and the burpee so uh, this is about the kalakan and uh, keep it in mind uh, when we are preparing kalakan without using the kua in that case the buffalo milk is generally preferred for the preparation of the kalakan so uh, this is about the kalakan and uh, let's see about the how kalakan is prepared this is the flow diagram for the preparation of the kalakan for the preparation of the kalakan uh, we need the ingredients such as the milk sugar citric acid cardamom and silver paper cardamom and silver papers are the optional one it depends on the manufacturer or it depends on our uh, desire whether we have to uh, add the cardamom in that or not so these are the ingredients which are uh, uh, needed for the preparation of kalakan. The first step is the buffalo milk. Second step is the standardization: six percent fat and nine percent SNF boiling. Then addition of citric acid. Then uh, the fat formation stage. Addition of sugar, seven point five percent by weight of milk. Further desiccation till the desirable uh, flow characteristics obtains. Then emptying. The contents into tray, uh, setting for four hours or overnight, and cutting uh, into desirable shape and sizes, and then it is served. So this is the flow diagram. So let's see uh, in detail about uh, the each and every point which is mentioned uh, mentioned here in this flow diagram. The first point is the buffalo milk. So a good quality of buffalo milk, the milk which is the fresh, the milk which is the clean, the milk. Uh, which, uh, which does not contain the, any sediment that kind of the milk is taken for the preparation of the product as i said earlier uh, in previous lecture the quality of the final product that is the kalakan is totally depends on the quality of raw material used here and the first raw material is the buffalo raw material is the sugar raw material is the citric acid raw material is the kind of so all these are the raw materials and we have to use all these raw materials with the superior quality so here in this buff uh, in the uh, first step receiving mil uh, milk and here the buffalo milk is generally taken for the preparation of milk so uh, for the preparation of the kalakan the good quality superior quality of milk is taken and that milk is standardized to the six percent fat and nine percent sm standardization means that is the maintaining the desirable amount of the uh, fat and SNF content that is called as the standardization and here in these steps that is the standardization we have to standardize the milk to 6% fat and 9% SNF. SNF means uh, solid not fat. After receiving milk after the standardization process the next step is the boiling. This milk is taken into the dry and then it is boiled. When the boiling start the heating should be stopped and after when the heating is stopped, uh, to this stage, uh, the citric acid solution is added. 0.05% of citric acid solution added to this stage and it is vigorously uh, stirred and scrapped. So, uh, the citric acid will, will, uh, will coagulate the this milk it, it will uh, it will help to coagulate the milk so as soon as the citric acid is added and it is stirred it start to coagulate and again this milk is heated this milk is heated up to the fat formation stage when the fat formation stage is achieved in this stage the 7.5 percent of uh, milk uh, initial quantity of milk the sugar is added here 
then it is again heated or then it is again desiccated for the till the desirable two characteristics of them and uh, when uh, within that the desirable flow characteristics is obtained heating should be stopped and this pan should be emptied into a tray so this is the next day that is the emptying the contents into tray it means that the uh, this pat the formed pat should be transferred to a new tray and this tray is allowed or it is allowed to cool the room temperature or it is uh, kept as uh, as it is for four hours or overnight when it is settled then it should be cut into a desirable shape or a desirable shape is given to this uh, settled color color and then it is served so this is about the flow diagram for the preparation of color color for the preparation of color color by using the one liter of milk we have to take the 60 gram of sugar citric acid as, uh, as i uh, told you that is the 0.05 uh, percent uh, uh, as citric acid solution should be uh, taken here then cardamom a few pieces it is optional silver paper again it is optional a lip is taken and the pista again this is optional one so for the preparation of kalakan we needed the ingredients milk sugar citric acid cardamom silver paper and pista and after uh, receiving or after taking all these ingredients by using this same uh, flow diagram the kalakan is prepared kalakan may be prepared at the time so uh, again let's see or let's review the flow diagram for the preparation of the kalakan first one the milk buffalo milk good quality fresh clean buffalo milk is taken it is standardized to 6% fat and 9% snf whereas at a household level it is not possible to standardize the milk so for the household preparation standardized milk should be purchased from the market and that milk is taken for the preparation of uh, kalakan then after receiving milk it should be boiled in karai and when boiling start heating should be stopped and at this point the 0.05 percent citric acid solution is added to this boiled milk when uh, when the citric acid uh, added it start to coagulate uh, and it should be again heated up to the fat formation stage and when uh, within that uh, this is the fat formation then at this stage the uh, 7 by 5 percent sugar is added to this fat formation stage and again uh, this mixer is desiccated further or till desirable flow characteristics is obtained and this content is emptied into a tray and it is allowed to cool room temperature and it is kept for undisturbed uh, it is kept as it is undisturbed conditions for four hours or overnight and then uh, it is uh, it is cut into the desirable shape or desirable shape is or a desirable shape is given to that uh, lacan and then it is served so this is the flow diagram for the preparation of the lacan i think uh, the point uh, has been clear uh, how to prepare the lacan uh, might uh, see in detail the flow diagram see in details the ingredients which is required for the preparation of kalakan and try to prepare the kalakan at home so this is the very easy again this is a very easier uh, uh, easier way to, for the preparation of the kalakan uh, and very easy to memorize the flow diagram for the preparation of the kalakan and the ingredients which, is, which are uh, required for the preparation of the kalakan so uh, thank you very much for uh, listening my lecture uh, like share and subscribe the channel so uh, and uh, uh, hit the bell icon so uh, you will get the information about the uh, new videos uh, videos when i upload on the, the youtube channel so once again thank you very much and subscribe the channel